Hello again everyone, Marcus here, I review stuff. Today, I'm reviewing the song Demon Cleaner by Caius. As always, this song comes to you as a request from, well, you guys, one of my viewers. Uh, so if you want to be the person who requests the next one, just put it in the comments. I'll be sure to add it to my list. So, um, you know, at this point, I, I don't think I've heard anything from Caius to my knowledge. Uh, so going in pretty blind here and just, uh, you know, hoping for a good song. Uh, I do know that uh, Josh Homme of, you know, Queens of the Stone Age uh, was involved in this one, so um, I was involved, I guess, somewhat with this band. I don't know to what extent, but um, yeah, I guess let's let's give it a listen. This is again Demon Cleaner by Caius. Uh, here we go.
is really good. I like that a lot. That was that was good. That is kind of, that is how you introduce someone to a band for the first time. Like that was a really good, I feel like very baseline song for like this is what this band can do. Like this is uh, just the kind of grooves they throw out at you. This is like that. That was good. That was really enjoyable. I love uh, kind of starting off with that drum beat. It was really cool. Uh, and then they came in with the bass, which I thought really worked here. And then the guitar throughout to me was fantastic. Loved that, kind of that guitar solo that we got. Uh, really, it was kind of a guitar jam there in the back half of the song. But uh, yeah, I thought it was a it was a very very good song. So I'm excited to break it down further. Really talk about it. Let's start, of course, with our lyrics. So. Um, let's see, let me find where I'm at. Here we go. So a little bit of information here. It says in the book, Precious Metal, the lead singer, John Garcia said that Josh Homme, who was one of the two writers in Caius, wrote the song about brushing teeth. Okay. Let me take a look. I've got the demons in me. I've got to brush them all away. I feel the demons rage. I must clean them all away. Maybe the, the, um, the demons are like gunk and stuff in his teeth, you know, <laughs> He says, yeah, yeah, and he says, yeah, a few times. Um, inside I see more cobwebs in the way. The magic cleaner will shine his smile over me. Yeah, th okay, I, you know, <laughs> now that I'm actually stopping to think about it, like, this does sound like brushing your teeth. Uh, inside I see more cobwebs in the way. The magic cleaner will shine his smile all over me. Like going to the dentist. Um, I am the demon cleaner to save the day. I get the back one. Important, they'll always stay. I get the back one, like the back teeth, you know, you gotta get the back teeth. Um, yeah, yeah. If only one thing that you'll know, posters from the show, they'll try to trick you into normal treatment. Oh, don't you listen to them say, shush them all away. I am the demon cleaner, madman of Encino. I wonder what that's a reference to. It could be a reference to the 1992 movie Encino Man, in which a frozen came in as introduced to the modern lifestyle with by two teenagers. Okay, I've never seen Encino Man actually. Um, I am the I am the, the freedom bleeder, standing naked here to say I'm the only way. I'm the only way. Yeah, you know you gotta brush teeth. It's important. You know, good good dental hygiene. Cool. So, uh, yeah, lyrically, um, I mean, I feel like you could. You can still, you know, pull uh, a few different interpretations out of this, but I think uh, as a kind of a silly toothbrushing uh, song, I think it kind of works as far as like uh, songs about brushing your teeth go. I mean, this is probably one of the best, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So, you know, I liked it. I give it, uh, I give it a thumb up lyrically. I would give it two, but it's just kind of like it's it's a song about brushing your teeth. I guess maybe, maybe. I mean, I'm sure there's again, there's more interpretations you can pull from it, but yeah, I give it a thumb up. Um, as far as the instrumentation goes, like I said, love the drum beat throughout, love the bass when it came in, I uh, just really love um, how they played the guitar with this one, uh, the guitar solos, I mean everything I think really came together to make it just a very good, competent, fun song, it was really easy to just jam out to, you know, kind of lose yourself in the moment, very groovy, very fun to listen to, so um, this one really shines instrumentally, I really like the vocal performance as well, was that Josh Homme? on vocals or the, or do they have someone else on this one let's see written by josh homie uh ooh, they got everything here labeled there we go drums brant bjork bass scott reader guitar josh homie um let's see okay scott reader and josh homie i'm back in vocals lead vocals are actually john garcia i guess it said that in the in the about section that's right it said lead singer john garcia that's right okay i really like his voice i like his approach to um the vocals on this one so i think it matches really well with kind of just the way the lyrics were delivered so um yeah i think instrumentally like i said and i guess vocally really this one really shines i give it two th big thumbs up uh and then as far as replay value goes you know I, I i definitely want this one on my playlist this was a fun listen and easy listen uh really groovy real fun to jam out to just awesome song I honestly can't wait to listen to it again and really just so easy like it's kind of what i needed today it was it was it was rock and roll you know it was a little bit hard in, in some ways a little heavy in some ways but it was very much easy listening to i'm very i'm feeling very kind of lethargic today if i'm being totally honest and even though this had really good energy and really good playing it it did kind of feed into that just kind of like i'm here to chill out for a little bit uh vibe that i'm feeling today so i don't know what it is about that but i think it, it did really well um so yeah liked it a lot um 
Uh, I give it two thumbs up instrumentally and vocally. Uh, and then as far as replay value goes, like I said, give it two thumbs up there as well. So um, can't wait to listen to this one again. Had a great time listening and checking this one out. Thank you so much for whoever requested it. As always, if you want to request something, just put it in the comments and I'll be sure to add it to my list. If you enjoyed the music as much as I did, of course, go support the artists. You know, Go listen to the music wherever you can. And if you want to support me, just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube, you know, like and subscribe and comment. All right. I feel like I'm extra monotone in my closing here today, but thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.